Hello, Jesse Good here. Today I'm taking a look at one of the LEGO 2018 Solo A Star Wars Story sets, which is Moloch's Land Speeder, and this has 464 pieces, two minifigures, and it retails for $40 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. So here is Moloch, and I love that pimp staff right there. That's hilarious. And he also has a blaster. And if you take that off, you get a better look at him, which his robes look so cool, and they're on this kind of dark gunmetal gray, I guess you could say. You can see the printing even continues onto this new kind of, uh, I guess you could say, robe piece on the bottom, which is introduced in these sets for spring 2018. And you can see the slope on the back has some printing as well. He has kind of a hood there, but also his molded head is very neat. Of course, it is an exclusive mold because he only comes in this set, but there's just a lot of nice detailing on there with even some intricate printing at the front. And it's a hard plastic. It's not like a rubber or anything like that. You can see the detailing at the top. So. That is it for Moloch, a very, very cool minifigure. And here is Rebolt, who is also exclusive to this set, and I really appreciate his torso print as well, which is similar to uh, Moloch's with that uh, kind of gunmetal gray shine to it. He even has some printing at the back as well. And this little kind of, a, I guess, a head piece or, or, or helmet piece is neat in this tan coloring. I like his face print as well. For some reason, it reminds me of um, Rich Evans from uh, Red Letter Media. I don't know why. You can see his back facial printing right there. So here are the Corellian Hounds, and these guys aren't exclusive to this set. They're also in the Han Solo Speeder. They're very small, so it's hard to focus on them, but uh, you do have these nice kind of ridges on the top, which is a hard plastic mold, and the tail, and also they fit across two studs. So you get two of them in the set, which is pretty generous of LEGO to include. So here is Moloch's Land Speeder. Now this is a kind of a blob of just watered down colors. And you wouldn't think I would like a set like this because I like more colorful ones, but I like the building techniques here. And I think that really outweighs uh, those bland colors. And in a way it has a style to it as this kind of junkier vehicle. Now there are little compartments I really like. For example, there's this little part to hold those two Corellian Hounds. And those just fit in there pretty well. If you want to take them off, you can see that there is about four studs in there to fit whatever you want and even a little vent. In the front, they do have a rapid stud shooter, which could shoot up to six studs. This is one part I don't really like about the set because to actually trigger the stud shooter, it's a little bit hard since it's like right at the edge of this uh, build. You're going to have to push it from the bottom, which is a bit of a pain, but it's not too big of a problem. Other than that, the back actually has some really nice details for it. I love how they put these lights right here, or I guess you could say they're maybe exhaust or whatever, and they use these pieces, which are, as I still call them, the Mixel tooth pieces, and in that coloring, they actually do not come in many other sets. I think they only come in one other set, which is like a Technic set. Also in the back, they have this spot where you could hold that little pimp staff, <laughs> and if you open up the compartment, there is a nice little utility kind of a holder, which has this uh, basket right here. It has some extra studs and even some bones, and you could put stuff like that little uh, blaster on these clips right here. And there's enough space to fit more stuff in there if you'd like, but uh, you just kind of slide this back in and seal the hatch, and there you go. So this hatch, which holds a minifigure, you just could kind of lift up, and it's a bit deep in there, and the minifigure has to be standing up, but it holds more than just Moloch. Like, you could put this guy in there, and it looks just fine. I mean, look at that. Fits really well. Some other little details I like that are probably underappreciated are just these indents right here. When they show these indents with these little pieces showing in me, that's actually kind of a pro for like a, a mechanical mess like this because it makes it look more realistic in that way where it doesn't look all perfect and just sealed off. For a messy set like this, stuff like that is okay. Now, if it was like an actual like really perfect vehicle, that would look out of place. The same goes with all these studs exposed at this top area right here. Again, that gives it more of that mechanical look. And at the bottom, they do give you some wheels so that you could kind of move this around and as you'd like. And that was the same thing they did with the Han Solo speeder set from this Solo line. And that's it for the build. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final version. So here is the box for this. It's the typical $40 square box size. And the back does have some little play features as well as a nice little background design. The instructions have a nice ad of some of the other sets coming in spring 2018 for Lego Star Wars. So I guess I'm just a sucker for these $40 hunks of gray speeder vehicles. I remember the first order of snow speeder I really liked and a lot of people were just ranking on it saying how bad it is. This is kind of the same appeal to me where yes, it does have a lot of bland colors, but it has style to it. When it has style to it and it doesn't look perfect 
for these bland colors, it, it makes it feel more authentic to me. It makes it feel more mechanical, and I like those designs. I like a lot of the different uh, shapes and, and slopes they use here to make this kind of junky looking vehicle. And for me, that gives it a lot of flavor. Now, there are some cool play features with those hidden compartments. I wish this main one with the actual stud shooters worked a little bit better. It's just in a very awkward position to trigger it. And I do wish there was more to this set for 40 bucks. Sure, the price per piece ratio is above average, but the deal with that is I wanna see enough content for a $40 set. So to me, the price per piece ratio doesn't really matter anymore. Rather, I wanna see if this is worth the $40 and it doesn't feel like it when you only have two minifigures, even with those two Carillion Hounds. It feels like there should have been more minifigures and maybe even more of a side builder or an extra seat to have another minifigure or something like that. So with all that considered, I'd rate this one a B. I think it's a good set for 40 bucks, but if you want to get a speeder from the LEGO Star Wars line, I'd really recommend the Han Solo one, which I think is just a better, more sleeker design. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.